These ladies drove in from Albuquerque uh -huh. just to say, hey, open up. Look at them. They're, they're saying, open up. Let us in. You know, everybody wants to open. It's just ridiculous what we've got going on here. Action 7 News anchor Shelby Cashman is more on what went down as the town's leader openly defied the governor's public health order. Shelby. Yeah, you saw that there, Brittany. About two dozen people showed up at Grant's Town Hall today as some of those businesses across the city started to open. Mayor Martin Hicks, who you also just saw, surrounded by supporters from across central and western New Mexico. But state police came in and crashed the party for some. Our governor is saying to you, hear me on this. She's saying to you, you're going to die if you go back to work at City Hall. You're going to die if you go back to your construction job. But it's OK if you work at Walmart. Mayor Martin Hicks is not backing down, calling all city's employees back to work today and encouraging business to open their doors despite the governor's public health order. But not everyone opened. It's a shame that she could put such fear in our small businesses that she could shut them down like this. The mayor also opened the city's only golf course. From Sky 7, you can see some taking advantage of the nice weather. But hours later, this happened. State police officers issued a notice of violation to the city, prompting the mayor to come out to the golf course. What's wrong? Social distancing, guys. Get a shot of that, huh? Social distancing. Get a shot of that out there. How's that for social distancing? About 20 people were golfing at the time, including a city councilor. We're out here in the middle of nowhere, and uh, I, I believe it's safer to be out here than Walmart. The mayor reopened the course right after being put on notice by state police. I am going to come back and golf now for sure, and I ain't golfed in years. All right, well, the state police has not formally cited the city for opening that golf course. The mayor says he expects the state police to come back tomorrow with a formal citation and a $5,000 fine. He says, though, he will sue the state and fight in court. Brittany.